six calves in class two. Uh, leading in the class will be uh, Christian Payton, leading calf 140, followed by Catherine Coleman, calf number three. Third slot will be John Clay Coleman, calf number seven. Next will be Garrett Smith, calf number 120, followed by Cheyenne Spencer, calf number six. And closing up her class will be Noah Parker, with calf 104. And six calves in class number two. They will, exhibitors will bring the calves in and line up on post. Mr. Judge, this class weight is from 1,055 to 1,110 pounds. About 60 pounds weight difference. 1,055 to 1,110 pounds. Fail to recognize the sponsor of Class One. That's Mr. Fred Parchman, sponsored Class One. Uh, I don't. It's Fred here today. I didn't hadn't seen him. He's here. Our uh, second class, class that's in the ring now, is sponsored by Mrs. Bill Fazell. Uh, appreciate these sponsors. We gonna find those on Facebook. You know, it might be hard to believe. I don't have a Facebook account. I'm probably the only person that's counting, but I don't know how. Well, Give them to Freeman. Tell I'll, I'll have them. Yeah. I'd like to recognize some of the people that work to make this event take place. Of course, we're here on the facilities of. Uh, of Cumming City Stockyard, Cumming City Stockyard, and uh, appreciate Robert and all his staff. I see, Miss Jackie Hamilton's here today of that company, here. and uh, appreciate you folks for the facilities and helping us work it up and get it ready to show. Appreciate you. Also, our publicity committee is uh, by Mike Mobley and uh, Fred Parchman. Appreciate those folks doing what they do. The arrangements committee is uh, chaired by Jamie Fazell, and there's a group of folks that's listed in your show book that, that serve on that committee. Parents and exhibitors all serve on that committee as well, as well as other people. So appreciate all the setup and arrangements that you do. Buyers committee is chaired by Mr. Sam Fazell. He's got a whole group of folks that help him that's on that committee. And they're the ones that go out and work so hard to get these caves sold and get a good price for them. So Sam, appreciate you and all that group of folks doing what they do. That's the important thing is getting the cost back out of these caves and make sure the kids make a little money on the caves.
Caitlin, Anderson, please, uh, they want you in the barn. <laughs> you wouldn't make your way, <clears throat> please. interesting class out here uh, in our second class uh, I'm going to use the young lady's uh, black cap here to start this class when you start analyzing him it, yeah I'd like to change him a little bit he's kind of a little smaller package uh, we always like to get a lot of times the hair on these calves uh, this is a calf I think might look better if we take a little bit more of this hair off of him but when you start analyzing him He's the th really thick right through his center of his quarter. He's got a big old top in him. He's probably got more condition on him. I think he's got a better shot of hitting a choice grade than anything out here. That's where I think he bounces up and kind of wins the class from that. I'd like to stretch him out just a little bit probably, you know, change him in his overall structure or, or his overall makeup. The one thing he does do is, is walk around the ring fairly well. Uh, but I think just for me, he's the calf that wins the class. Uh, followed closely by the calf in second, this calf's a little longer made, he's a little longer rib, not as big top, not as big right through the center of his quarter, probably doesn't, not as deep in that heart girth all the way back through the flank, not carrying hardly as much condition, but the one thing too, this calf sometimes struggles a little bit when he tries to get around the ring, not hardly as smooth in his gait as the steer that wins the class, but he really gets overpowered in terms of when you look at those steers right behind how much quarter that first class winner has got. The young man's got a good feeding steer here in third. This old white calf got a lot of meat and muscle in him. Probably not hardly done yet in terms of condition. I'd like to see a little more condition on him. I'd like to see him bounced up a little bit, but comes into the third hole pretty easily. Uh, the red steer here. I kind of moved him up in this class. I think that's where he logically fits. Yeah, he's not as pretty. He's not as balanced as the calves maybe that win the class. But the calves got some uh, muscling to him. The class has got, uh, calves got some finishing to him. I think we'll hang a pretty good kind of a carcass for the young lady. Go ahead and take him out since he's behaving so well. Uh, two calves that we close the class with. Calves that I just like to see more natural thickness in. I'd like to see more turn to that top. 
more thickness when you view them from behind, a little more depth of body, like to balance them out. They tend to be a little larger frame kind of calves. We'd like to see them a little smaller frame, but a little more natural thickness throughout.